Alrighty. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you get this message. But the message is loud and clear. Whatever you have need of, God has already supplied you with whatever you have need of. Because what you need of is that breath to speak what you're speaking and to see what you're seeing. So anyway, the message is loud and clear. We got work to do. This is the first Sunday of 2020, and uh, you can go to church, but to be a Christian is work. Because you can't sit on the sidelines and wait for other people to do the work. When he says go into the world, that means you read the word, it applies to you. So if it applies to you, then that means you got to do the work. If you're not saved, and you still rolling around with your lying, stealing, killing self and doing less, not doing less of it, but doing the continuation of your lying, stealing, and killing to the person in the mirror, who's ever in that mirror. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I was listening to the gospel music this morning, and I was listening to what the people were saying. And you, if God opens up a window or a door, for you to go through or he blessed you. He blessed you yesterday. He blessed you with that breath you got. So you should be in the now time and expecting a miracle all the time. Because the miracle is you and Christ Jesus working in you. If you don't want the miracle, then get out the way. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. And if you don't want to work the work, then get out the way so other people can do the work. I ask God to forgive me, cleanse me, and make me whole to do the work he has for me to do and to meet the people I haven't met yet to encourage and uplift myself to help another individual. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. And if I tell you once and I tell you again, if you ain't got Christ Jesus in your life, you don't have nothing because he is the all in all. Whatever you have need of, he has it for you. Whatever you're looking for, he has it. Whatever. So you go through your trials and tribulations in life, but that's just life. That breath you take, that's it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lift up your holy hands in the sanctuary of his universe and bless the Lord. No matter where you at, no matter what you be, no matter who you are, praise the Lord for who you are. And if you don't know who you are and the pardon of your sins through Christ Jesus, I would recommend that you ask the Lord to come on in. Say, Lord, save me. I'm a sinner. I need your help. I'm a backslider. I need your help. I don't know who I am. I need your help. Lead me and guide me to the church that you would have for me to go to get the instruction on how to run this race with patience. In Jesus' name. I love you. I praise you and I adore you. I magnify your word, Lord. Help me to be a better person for that individual I have not met yet. In Jesus' name. Tulu.